Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. First in the den is a young student with a web-based art and auction platform for Africa's emerging artists. Hi Lions, my name is Peter Safari and I'm currently doing mechatronic engineering. I'm in my final year and I started Seferin Art because of three things that I'm really passionate about. These are art, computer programming and tech, and entrepreneurship. Seferin Art is an art selling and auctioning website. We approach artists that are currently working on art and we get their art and they give us the mandate to sell their art on our site. And from this, we get a commission. Now, Seferin Art is a visionary idea to get the brand of African art to be a luxury art brand. Art should speak art. This is a logo that, has, uh, that keeps on changing. Our investors, when they come on board, the initials appear on our logo. Their initials indicate them as an inspiration. And anyone that buys the most expensive painting that we ever sell at any point, his initials appear at the topmost point in, in our logo. So Seferin Art currently is just the website at its pre-revenue stage. We are hoping that it's going to be a place where we can transform the lives of Kenyan youths that are engaging in art and grow beyond Kenya to other countries. I'm looking for 1.4 million for 35%. The paintings you've brought here now, are those original paintings? Are they Kenyan artists? Yeah, these are Kenyan artists. What would they sell for and what would your commission be? For this one, uh, he, the artist gave us a price of 50,000. Mm -hmm. So on our site, it sells at 65,000. We get a 30% commission. Okay. Have you, what has been the response from artists you've spoken to about putting their stuff online? The response has actually been phenomenal. Unlike other countries out there, where artists have their own websites and can feature their art, most of Kenyan artists don't have that luxury. And mostly they try to feature their art on Instagram, but Instagram is not the best way to communicate your, your professionalism. And the fact that we are offering them an already ready market that is gained and they can market to that niche through us, it gives them a leverage. So, the, the, so when you the say phenomenal, you've spoken to 100 artists and 99 of them said yes. I've spoken to around, I'd say, 20 artists. They have all wanted to feature the art, the art on our site. Do you have an idea of the size of the market? I made two kind of projections. One, without being a luxury brand. And doing the projection the first year, we make a profit of 400000 mm -hmm. And doing the projection as a luxury brand, the first year we can make a profit of 8.5 million. So why is such a big distinction? So if we are a luxury brand, we can sell it at a much at a higher price and we can reach an even wider market. So why not go for that immediately? I, I, I made the, the low projection when we start, because we're not just going to start being a, the, the go-to brand in terms of art. So we are going to build up slowly. So how does the website work? So the art that is there will have a price. One can click on it and then you, can, you are taken to where you can fill in your card details and then you get sent the information that you have bought the art and we get to deliver it to you. So if someone from South Africa buys a piece of art, you'll fly it down regardless yeah. of... It, okay. it is featured in our commission. So, so if, you're, if I say I want a piece of art in a glass frame, how does that work out? So that, that will cost you. Because if, if you're going to have to customize it to your need, that will add on to the cost that you get to buy from us. When, when you feature a painting, mm -hmm. do you physically get the painting and keep it with you? It stays with the artist. What we do, we just sign a contract with the artist that he can't sell the art, the art while it's featured on our website. Have you met artists? If you tell an artist that he can't sell this thing and it's in his workshop, if Dashan walks into his workshop with 50k in his pocket, do you think he's going to say, no, 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 it's on suffering art, so I can't sell it right now? That will be a breach of contract if he has accepted our contract. So then what would you do? Uh, then after that, it's a matter of seeing the best way possible of handling the situation which will involve maybe going to court or if it costs us, if it gives us damages as a, as a company. So, yeah. I like the story. I think you're doing something great. Not a space that I'm familiar with, so I'm out. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. 
I, 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 love, I love African art, and it's difficult from the space of your home to see what, what's out there. Um, so I think you're definitely meeting a need. I don't think at this point spending 1.4 million on, on a big flagship proj project would be where I think the money should go. So for that reason, I'm out, but I would definitely be a client. I think you, you need to think through the business plan a little bit more though. There's a lot of intricacies in your business which you need to think out. I think the e-commerce side is one. You have the stakeholders of the actual artists um, and you have your buyers. You need to really think through exactly what are they looking for in terms of coming onto this platform. I'd really like to see it at a later stage. I'd like to see the traction it has in the market. Um, I love that painting. I'll definitely be a client. Uh, let me know what the auction date is. You're, you're actually welcome to buy it again. Right but now. I wouldn't then be supporting your exact business model, but we, that's fine. We can talk, we can actually... Uh, Why, talk. you don't want to compete for the art space? Mike also wants like, to buy. Like we can make an offer. You can have right a small here. mini auction between the lions make, who are even make, make an offer. <laughs> make an offer. Make an offer, boss. What's the reserve price? So it says at 65,000. An auction is supposed to be cheap, it's supposed to start at like 20. Okay, in, in the model that we, we are designing is the 65,000 should be like the beginning. But if that's what no. you're willing to sell it for, you can't, you, anyway, you, have to you start, figure out how to sell You have to start, if you don't get the 65, that means you don't sell, that's all it means. Yeah. If that's your reserve price, but you don't necessarily have to start, start there. Um, okay, let's begin at 40,000. Dasan? 41. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay, oh, okay. moving forward. Yes, Leave yes, Dasha please. alone. We, we, we could do this forward. <laughs> what did you say so you wanted? So, I, so I'm out, but I wish you all the best. Yeah. The 1.4 million. What what do you, what do you need it for? Oh, the 1.4 million is just to carry out our expenses until we break even. Exactly. Okay. Do you currently have a space? Yeah. Where? We operate from my house. That's it. Oh, that's my room. I like the, the brand, Sephine Art, it looks really nice. And I was actually having a conversation not too long ago about the, the space or the opportunity there is for selling art online. So I'll make you an offer. Um, the 1.4 million for 40% of the business. Yeah, we have a deal. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> A colorful pitch and a quick deal at the fall of the hammer has Safrin walk out with 1.4 million shillings for a startup. The land that I was gunning for was olive. How did you do that to Mike Rabba? At least you have had him out. You've <laughs> had his feelings. No, it, it, as in when the opportunity arises, I think you should take it by the horn. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.